Percy and the Brake Fan One day, Percy was standing at the junction. He had a long goods train which he was taking to Titmouth, but he had to wait for Henry to pass with a passenger train before he could go on. Henry was late, but the sun was warm and Percy didn't mind. At last, Henry arrived. I'm sorry, I'm late, he panted. I had to wait ages for the connection at the other railway. Do you know, he went on, that they have goods trains on the other railway that don't have brake fans? That doesn't seem right, does it? You've still got yours, I'm glad to see. Oh, there's a signal. I must try and make up a bit more lost time. Goodbye. And he puffed importantly away. Percy told his driver what Henry had said about brake fans. His driver laughed. Goat trains on the other railway have special brakes, he explained. Like passenger trains and Henry's flying kipper. They don't need brake fans. Your trucks just have couplings, so they need brakes at each end of the train in case a coupling snaps. You know how stupid trucks are. They did it to James on Gordon's Hill, remember? Pooh, scoffed Percy. I know how to keep my trucks in order. What's good enough for the other railway is good enough for me. I don't need a stupid brake van. Don't be so silly, Percy, said his driver. Percy took no notice. It would have been better if he had. A few days later, Percy was shunting trucks at the harbor near the big station. He was just completing his train by backing on to the brake fan when the shunter's attention was distracted. The shunter thought he had coupled the brake fan to the train, but he hadn't. The guard blew his whistle, and Percy set off quickly, hoping to get a run at the hill leading to the main line. But the guard and his brake fan were left behind. The guard waved and shouted, but Percy didn't hear. He was too busy climbing the hill. All might have been well if Percy had not started so quickly. Unfortunately, the jerk had weakened one of the couplings. As Percy snorted up the hill, the weight of the loaded trucks dragging behind the weak coupling broke it. The last four trucks began to run back down the slope towards the harbor. The guard was standing on the veranda of his brake fan, and he saw the trucks coming. Quickly, he ran to his brake handle and checked that it was fully on. Then he jumped clear. He was just in time. trucks hit the brake van with a resounding crash. The van shuddered and was pushed along the line, but somehow it stayed on the rails and the truck's mad rush was halted. Meanwhile, Percy's firemen had noticed that they had lost the tail of their train. Percy came slowly back down the hill to see what had happened. Phew, remarked Percy's driver as he helped to clear up the mess. You see, Percy? Brake vans do have their uses after all. And Percy had to admit that his driver was right.